morning everybody made it through the gas station had the AAA. I left a package there technically boondocking will start after I leave AAA. <laughs> this gas station's just down the road cheap diesel uh, it's down the road from AAA bus then I'm heading north to Wickenburg to get the last video and I don't know where I'm going it's going with the flow last tiny home shot for a while there was a rest area that I saw that I'll probably stop at now I gotta traverse this road it's a little more bumpy than I was anticipating but that's why I built the rig to build my uh, tiny home tours channel and to live cheaply and simply so as long as I get out of this road no issues, knock on wood, we're gonna be good. It's odd, that was the fridge coming open and I was literally just thinking that it's crazy how the fridge never came open on this rough road and it just came open for the first time. The RV gods were listening. See you later. Bye, Rufio. So this is the spot that got me last time. So I think the reason why it was so bad is I was throttling out these hills, basically coasting down. And once I got to the bottom, but well, I was getting speed down and then just feathering up these hills and I had a lot of speed right there and that's what got me. A bunch of cabinets came open. Luckily no jars broke this time. Lesson learned, because I was just looking 10 feet ahead of me instead of 20 by the time I got up to that, it was too late. that new suspension, goodness.
morning everybody just stayed at this awesome little rest area highly suggest stopping here the gps coordinates will be down below uh, they have trash restrooms over there and then a fairly quiet spot everybody had it out fairly early i was up at five this morning getting work done uh, with the different online businesses and all that fun stuff but just been cleaning up the bus a little bit gonna head into the phoenix area actually gonna be picking up kobuk today g has a conference over in california and i'll have him for five or six days and then not too sure where i'm gonna go still trying to get that figured out uh, with the boondocking challenge i made a little bit of a mistake I do have sea levels, but they're not hooked up yet. Saying so you get those attached. The only way to really check the tank is visual inspection. Just open up the door for the batteries and the tanks are right there. Right now, it looks as though they are about halfway full. So I have about 100 gallons to last me. What I'm hoping is a month. Uh, I was being a little uh, lavish with my water consumption beforehand, but I'll just have to be more mindful of that and just see how it goes. It's not like I'm in a do or die situation here with the uh, with the water. So we'll just see how long it lasts. The, like I mentioned before, the one thing that I do have coming up is a uh, gathering out in California. It's a van life app meetup and that'll be a good opportunity to get some videos for uh, tiny home tours. So it is a little bit of an overcast day to day solar. Well, now it's reading 100% before it was saying 80% only bringing in 130-ish watts and putting in 48 watts of the system, 3.3 amps. Uh, so right now the batteries are at 13.27. Uh, floats at 14.2. As the sun starts to come out more today, I'm confident that the batteries will be topped off. So far, the lowest that's ever got was 88%. And that was with uh, the fridge and the freezer running all night as well as charging my laptop and I was charging the drone batteries as well so very happy with the with the setup so far so far no issues knock on wood uh, it's been working fantastic so after picking up Kobuk I'm probably gonna go over to Bass Pro meet up with Aaron once again we got a couple projects that we're gonna be working on the schoolie manual is making progress essentially Aaron's gonna be drawing out electrical diagrams of my system then I need to get the water diagrams which is fairly simple being that the whole water system uh, essentially just runs from right here to the sink back to the bathroom where the faucet and the shower is runs behind the kennel down into the main bay for electrical so that diagram will be fairly easy uh, I'm going to do the electrical diagram of the lights as well, even though I'm not exactly sure how that's all going to work out. The electrician that I talked to in Phoenix mentioned using this 14-gauge uh, lamp wire for my lights. Now, with these lights, they're only 3.5 watts a piece. I was going to put six up here. Kitchen is essentially how it is with some overhead lighting I'm going to put in here, but that will just be these lights right here these simple 12 volt LED lights and for this area one light over top for the standing desk area two over the closet area and then I have lights over the the bedroom the issue is from what I understand is the casing that these wires are in will break down over time so I'm debating on just completely scrapping this maybe using this for speakers so being that they're already ran I might just use that for speaker wire and whatever I do for the ceiling just incorporate a bunch of speakers maybe hook it up to a Bluetooth system not too sure just since they're already ran since they're in the insulation just do it that way and then do some sort of LED strip lighting around the side with a couple pucks in the middle and what I can do is just get a router and route through the wood and the insulation just to put a couple overhead lights through here but so far, I mean, this whole living room area, the reason why I have all these windows, you know, I have two over here, well, three if you count the uh, doggy window, and then three over here, then I have the one up top here, and then with the emergency exit on a sunny day, when I open that up, it just really lights it up in here. What I'm getting at is, I have so much natural light in here, I really don't need any lights, and at night I go to bed so early, I go to bed around nine or so each night, so, it's not even like I'm hanging out in here when it's dark. Like I'll just get some work done on the laptop with the lights off anyway. So 
So far the lighting's working out pretty good. Back to Aaron, he has some projects. He's actually starting a new job in three days. So he's working remotely and he's also doing some of the solar stuff on the side. So just trying to get with him because the project that he's working on, uh, you know, doing different solar stuff might take him out of state. So if that does happen, I'm going to try and get as much done with this. We still have some extra little things to do. For example, with my water pump, right now I'm just connecting the wires directly to the battery. I need to get a water pump switch, uh, just some small things like that. The nature's head fan on, uh, the nature of the composting toilet uses a 12-volt uh, computer fan to circulate the air. It helps the composting process. That is that's, That still needs to be hooked up, as well as the sea level, and there's another... Oh, the fans. I got both the fans installed. They're ready to be ran. Just need to hook them up. So I'm going to get on the road, head over to meet up with G, pick up Kobuk, and over to Bass Pro. She'll stop waiting. Tables for the minimum wage. So she still won't wait. She's getting out of town. No more hearty. Alright, so I have the Kobe's again. Say hi Kobe's. It's a little toasty in here, I know, bud. So I know a lot of this beginning of this challenge. Sorry, hopefully that isn't too hopefully that screen's alright. But I know a lot of this has been driving around, doing a bunch of uh trying to film and meet up with people. I'm gonna meet up with Aaron, and then hopefully after that, be able to go hang out with Kobe's out in the middle of nowhere, and just go hiking and exploring, and then just go from there. So, heading into Phoenix. Tell me what you're missing out on. You sit down city lights. Tell me what you're missing. Said I'm gonna make it all right. Gonna make it all right. Oh, darling, please. She said my arms are too big. She said my thighs do fit. All right, a little bit of change in plans. Aaron and Bricks of Happiness might be getting kicked out of Bass Pro. So I am on a scouting mission to the Superstition boondocking spot that I filmed that last tiny home at. So hopefully we'll catch you there with a nice boondocking spot big enough for three school buses. By the way, we're all 40 foot. She said my smile ain't right. And she said my clothes don't fit. Just a lesson to my baby. Just a lesson while I tell you now. Let me tell you how you got it so damn wrong. You got my singing loud. Okay, so this is what's happening. There's not really a good spot for one bus, much less, much less three. Aaron and Bricks of Happiness bus, uh, they're not gonna head out. 
Uh, but being that I'm out here, I'm gonna try and get back there. There is one spot, it's fairly level. And then Saturday, planning on going back into town to uh, do a project with Aaron, getting in here might be tricky. So I'm gonna give it a shot, go nice and slow. The hard part is I'm gonna have to go out on the road a little bit to get an angle to get back in. So there's some traffic, I'm a little nervous, but do my best. That actually wasn't too bad. I'm noticing that the size of the bus, what it is in my head, what it is in real life it's two completely different things she said my smile ain't right she said my clothes don't fit just a lesson to my baby just a lesson while I'll tell you now let me tell you how you got it so damn wrong Got my singing loud. 